Bottle rockets are a great way to get students excited about motion studies. Add the new launcher base and you have a safe, simple apparatus to get your lab activities up and going fast. To set this up, you will need a two liter plastic bottle. Smaller soda bottles work too. Fill the bottle halfway up with water and then stick the stopper in the bottle as far as you can get it in. Twisting the stopper as you push helps a lot. Invert the bottle and thread the hose through the base of the launcher to be attached to the pump. Place the two launcher arms up over the plastic rim of the bottle. If the launcher arms won't go over the plastic lip of the bottle, it means the stopper is not pushed in far enough. To hold these in place, you will use the plastic retainer and slide it around the two arms of the launcher base so that the bottle is now upright and stable on the launcher. Take the other end of the hose and attach it to the air pump. Note that the angle of the base will determine which way and in which direction the launcher will launch. If you're not using the launch base, you can also use three long pieces of dowel pushed into the ground around the bottle to act as a launch guide. You are now ready to launch. Step away from the setup far enough to not be injured by a premature launch. Pump the air pump until you reach about 30 PSI. Now that's about 20 strokes on the hand pump. Clear the area around the launch trigger string away from the bottle rocket. A slight tug on the string pulls the plastic retainer out and launches your rocket. Using the bottle rocket launch base not only makes for a solid launch foundation, but also allows you to use parking lots or other hard surfaces as launch areas. Students can add their own nose cones or fin designs to their rockets and test for changes in rocket performance. Bottle rockets are a guaranteed method to keep science fun.